And people don't want to experience that feeling. So they sit there until the end of the talk and then they run up to ask the speaker a question because that doesn't activate the lizard brain. So once you know that that's what's on offer, you can do a few things. One thing you can do is when it gets activated, you can say, oh, there it goes again and not try to fight it because it's too late to fight it. But you can dance with it. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do is you can treat it like a compass so that you can say, ah, if my lizard brain is activated, that must mean something's going on. 14 people are coming over for dinner tomorrow night and I'm making a dish I've never made before. The lizard shows up and he's saying, yeah, you should play it safe. Make what you made last week. So I'm still present as a person. I'm not at my day job, but in that moment, I feel more alive than if I'm making yet another batch of brown rice. <laughs> and, and is cooking something you actually like doing? Yeah, I've been uh, cooking for the family every night for the last uh, 25 years. Wow. It makes way more sense to ask for advice than feedback. But most of the advice you're going to get are from people who are trying to save you from yourself, from people who don't want you to get hurt. So they'll tell you, back off. Don't ship that. You went too far. But those aren't your people. That's not who you made it for. That advice and helpful feedback from people who are on the same journey, that's priceless. It's really hard to find. If you can't find that, don't take any. Every night I work on tomorrow's blog post, but I get viruses all the time. So if I'm in bed with a fever, there's still a blog post that's going to show up because what's the point of being Lou Gehrig if you can't keep your streak going? So I'm mm -hmm. quite happy to work on it every day but make sure the very best thing I've got is always ready.